Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and in today's video we are going to round up the last of the calves that are outside. So all going to plan, we're going to get all in bar one batch. There's one batch that probably have to stay, stay out because I can't see it's getting time to go to them. But we're hoping to get a hundred calves into the yard within the next few hours. So two batches to bring home, one bring up from the bottoms and the other we have to go bring home the trailer. So just shutting up the yard and my lovely new hanging gates at the bottom and fill my bag of meal, jump into 36 anti pond the cattle trailer and we will bait on into the out farm. The weather has got quite cold, cattle that are out are very very anxious even though they have some grass they're very 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 anxious and it's just time to get them in, time to get them in. heading in now so before I forget this video is sponsored by Hardwatch as most of my cattle videos are and that camera is shaky and not going to stay there if you don't know who they are they are an app there'll be a link in the description down below to the app um, we use it for a whole lot of things it's all to do with helping keeping your record making making keeping your records that little bit easier but anyways we'll be on and we'll get these cattle home tree load should bring home this batch then we bring up the ones from the bottoms and get them dosed, weighed and separated, take the heifers from the bulls So, Father Phil has them well under control We'll just sneak in behind them now. Come on. Add a boy. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Up. Come on. Shh. Add a boys, add a boys, add a boys. Right. Trailer back then.
Come on. Shh. Yeah. Come on. Up. Up. Come on. Shh. Come on. Shh. Come on. Shh. Come on. Don't go behind the gear. Come on. Get out from behind the gear. Nope. Come on. Shh. Come on. Up. Come on! 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 That's the last of them out of here. So, that is the last batch unloaded there. So, I uh, just tried the 3690 up out of the way. I'll probably need it later on for expensive gates because we'll have to move them, these lads across the yard when we get finished with them and bring in another batch. But, anyways, just finish with for now. So, we get stuck into these guys and get them shorted. So anyways, we're ready now to start weighing these lads. We have them dosed there. Quick and easy, levy fast diamond, do the job. So we weigh them now, see how they've done. These are the best calves that we let out. They're probably going to be back in oh, They'll be light, they'll be They were heavier at least a week ago, at least 20 two kilos, I'd say, two weeks ago. Just all down to, yeah, 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 yeah. 38, 38, 98, 205. But the reason they've gone down in weight is because of the cold weather, particularly this week. And that's why. Yeah, I'm going to have to put down the camera now to say hey, it's very hard. Hold the camera and talk. Some of you may remember this calf here, 1609. He's 165 kilos, so he's not definitely not the heaviest here today, but he was a very sick calf. He was one of the first sick calves that we had in a year, and you may remember we had a jacket on him for a long time. But he pulled through and he's coming back in. Which is a success in my books now. Next one, 38, 79. 185. 185. One of the things as well, if the cattle step up too quick onto it after each other, it doesn't register their weight. It's something we have to watch out for that the scales goes down before the next animal steps up. 38. 39. Oh, he's not 310. There's an animal and a half on it. Going back. 220. Nearly have them all weighed now, but it is looking like we're well over the 200 kilos of an average. Anyways, I'll put away this camera because it's really hard to hold the camera and do the phone. 
So that is all weighed and dosed now. One lad, so 67 cows went out, 67 cows come back, no casualties. One case of pneumonia, which was the lad in the chute there who hasn't fully recovered. Well, he's recovered, but he's not, he's not good enough to go into the shed. So we're going to put him out into the castle with some of the others. And what we're doing at the minute is just taking out the heifers. If I can get them, two here now. The big green patches on their head. I think there's three heifers all together. So take them out and then that way all our heifers are sorted from the bulls and there's be no heifers in the bottom shed. Happy days, one more. So these batch of calves, I'd say averaged heaviest for 255, but 0.7 daily live weight gain. And I'd say we averaged around the 210 to 215 kilos, which is great. Really happy with that. So yeah. They're ready to go in the shed. We'll just pop these in with the heifers here. We may allow a few bulls to go down with these and we'll get them run down and we we'll get the other batch in and turn on the lights. And all the panic to get them across, I forgot to record them running across. Now, bro was here to give a hand. Now, that's them in there. And we've just shut off that area of the passageway just to start because we don't have any uh, lower rails put onto this because they just walk straight out through that barrier. So I'll keep them out of that for now till we get organized. But anyways, we get the next one's in. It's a little bit annoying, daylight has beaten us, so the yard is well lit. But um, the GoPro has always been a useless yoke for trying to pick up light, always. So I don't really know what he wants me to do, but anyways. We get all our expensive gates moved and repositioned to get the next batch in from the bottom. Have you all the beef done? No, still have more to do. Okay, right. Right, if you want to put up barriers, me and Eric will manage this. There's no point walking and talking with these lads. We'll time lapse this and blitz it through these and see how these ones done. These are a mixture of the last calves to go out, the survivors as we call them, and some of the calves that were rebatched towards the back end of the year i think it was august or, or july we rebatched calves and um so yeah there's a good mix you have some really good guys there's a really good jersey there and um then you have some little smaller lads that we'll have to take out but yeah it's a nice little batch but we'll you can't see a whole lot so we'll just blitz through this in a time lapse now bro while i'm dosing your job is weighing yes oh we'll weigh as well but your job is to spray mark the heifers do and not give me that job. How do you know the difference between a heifer and a bull? If they have testicles or not, or two holes. Two ah. holes, count the holes, bro. Count, count the holes, one hole or two. So that is all dosed and weighed now. Weights were actually quite good. We had a couple of them coming in to 220 and 230 kilos. 
Uh, a couple of lighter ones, but very happy with them now. The weights, de definitely the weights are up. Big difference between this batch and the other batch we put in. The other batch are empty, just that, got that hard week outside, whereas these had more shelter and they didn't lose condition. And there and is that. The bellies yeah, all day. there's 20 kilos in the difference oh, yeah. easily. But, anyways, we're ready to sort these. So take the heifers down, to put into the heifer shed, and take. There's a four or five there want to go to the orchard, and what we should be doing with the ones that are going to the orchard, the ones that I won't chance put in the shed for fear that they just get pneumonia in the shed and die, is we should be giving them a vaccine, a booster vaccine for the pastoral pneumonia. But we're currently out, so I'll be putting a to do thing on the Herdwatch app to remind me of the calves that are need to be done. So I know the numbers that hand. We didn't clip their tails, so I know because the calves are out have their tails clipped. So just leave it a little bit easier to know. But anyways, that's what we have to do. Liv is here to help us now. She's all the beasts are heard for the weekend. So we we'll get to it. Started as a whisper, message from a new world. I never know. Something about it felt like. So just putting in timbers now to keep the cattle back or stop them going through the barrier a bit of timber bolted in happy days happy days Happy days. they're looking well in there some good weights in them lads no, sir. yeah it's up on 235 yeah, that's good try, yeah. and there was jerseys there was a good few jerseys over 200 now not jersey boys right. jersey crosses can i put this down no <laughs> It's an endurance sport, bro. And in t-shirt. In t-shirt. In, in, in the end of November, heading for December. And bro, it's just made a different stuff. That's all it is. Go on. On we go. Come on. Come on. I did remember, bro. Remember this time. Come on. Hup. Come on. Come on. No, that's a fine shed of cattle. See that? Where did he come from? Where did he get the fucker? Fucking hell, Glasses, Philip. I have no idea where these came from. They just appeared off and over. Of course, he did. <laughs> One more, yeah. So now, that is it. Calves have food in front of them. There, there is a lot of cattle in that shed, a lot of bulls in that shed, but it's nine bays, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine bays. So there's plenty, plenty of space. We worked it out. It's only like 20, 20 calves to the bay. So there's lots of space in there for them. It may look crowded, but there is lots of space for them. And there's lots of feeding space. But anyways, summarize the video. Very happy with the weights. Um, even though one batch is that 20 kilos lighter because of the hard weather for the week. And the other batch was, was very nice. But no, we're happy out. We're happy out with how the calves weighed. And yeah, there's not much else to say. Winter's really here. One more batch, 30 more calves to go in. And that's it. Everything is inside. They'll be in now in the next few days. Just didn't have time today. But anyways, Big thanks to Herdwatch for sponsoring today's video. As always, when we do cattle work, Herdwatch is a the Herdwatch app is a vital part of any of our cattle work from recording the medicines to the, to the weights, to just the whole paper trail that we have to keep for our cattle. It's all on the phone, very, very handy. Also being a big help at the minute because I'm getting ready to do the video of the Jersey Boys and I'm just trying to get my stats all put together on the cows so I'm able to give it a good it's not just I think this is how it is this is how it is that's the kind of video I want it to be so but it's been a big help I can print off my report see what weights and everything and it's print them not even print them off but get a report made in an excel spreadsheet and then all I have to do is copy and paste it into my spreadsheet and I have all my information I need in the one spot so it's been very very handy that way but anyways I'm going to leave it at that for today's video hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions and hit as always hit me in the comments down below that is it from me please like and subscribe to the channel videos every Tuesday Thursday and Sunday good luck